Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the one that the Celtic fans view. First of all, let's watch this. Absolutely fantastic scenes in Glasgow yesterday. Glasgow was green and Glasgow is green and white still. The domination of Scottish football continues. It's all leading to next weekend now. And probably one of the things that we need to concern her with is uh, yesterday's performance by the Rangers fans at Tyne Castle. Um, that is one thing that is um, a bit worrying for next week, because let's face it, if they get beat, they're not going to go down without a fight, are they? Obviously, after yesterday, one of the big questions that will be asked by Celtic fans, and Matt O'Reilly was asked the question yesterday by Sky. He was asked about his season. He was asked also about the prospect of leaving Celtic. The 23-year-old responded, it's a tough question. Mark O'Reilly said in Sky Sports, he said, look, the question uh, would be very difficult. He said, I've said it before, this club means a lot to me right now. I'm in a happy place. Right from day one, I finally fell in love with the club. The fans are so crazy and passionate. It's a proper fan base, not like the Spurs fan base who would cheer on the rivals um, not winning. Uh, well, fucking who cares about Spurs? It's all about Celtic. Um, he went on to say, he says, look, we'll have one more game to focus on and then we will take it from there. Matt O'Reilly is going to have a number of clubs after him in the summer. I think it's going to be very hard for him to pick a club. He has to go to a club that won is in the Champions League. There is no point Matt and Riley leaving Celtic uh, to continue his career for financial gain at a club that's maybe mid-table in the English Premiership. I don't think that even he would see that would be a, as a progression in his career. The new format in the Champions League next season means that Celtic are going to play a lot more games in the Champions League. That gives Matt O'Reilly a chance to show his skills at the highest level. And I think when he shows his skill at the highest level, he will once again get teams in the stature of Atletico Madrid coming in for the player. If that does not happen this summer, you might get one of the bigger teams coming in with a cheeky bid, but Celtic will want top dollar for their star player of the year. And it's going to be an interesting summer to see what happens with the one and only Matt O'Reilly. But <sighs> there's one thing. If he doesn't go, we've got a fantastic player on our hands for the Champions League next season. Particularly, I don't want him to go, but you know the way of the modern world, it could be an unbelievable bid comes in from an unbelievable club that takes Matt O'Reilly away. And I just hope he makes... I find I think that when you look at the way that Matt O'Reilly's made decisions about his career so far, he's not going to do a jota, is he? He's not going to jump at the big money just for the sake of jumping at the big money. I mean, he was turned down a three-year deal at Fulham when he was obviously younger. And he then left himself without a club during that summer. He was training on grass pitches in the park in London. And then he was picked up by MK Dons. That's not a player that's just going to jump at the first shot of money, is it? That's someone who's thinking about his career and about how and what is the best way forward for him. So it's going to be an interesting one. Celtic are obviously going to pay him handsomely um, next season. One of the interesting things that I saw from yesterday, moving on swiftly, is when Callum McGregor uh, was on the podium and passing around the trophy, um, Odom Owen... Ohm, Odin, Odin the warrior, remember he was called that? He refused to lift up the cup above his head. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because he's not got a lot of game time this season and he feels he hasn't participated enough to lift that cup above his head, even though it is a squad game. Brendan Rodgers was obviously talking yesterday and he's taken time to enjoy the ride, he said. He's, he's taken time. Brendan Rodgers savoured the day at Celtic Park yesterday, as we all did watching it, and it was fantastic to watch it all unfold on the TVs in the pub. And it was good to see a lot of pubs all around the world um, watching it. And it was some fantastic scenes. Obviously, the one for me yesterday was Big Joe Hart waving the Ultras flag. I thought that was brilliant. Big Joe Hart then getting the megaphone as well just taking it over the line. It was oh, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant to watch. The champions rounded off the league with a 3-2 win. And I've got to say, the Santa Claus moment by Celtic. What a club, 
what a, is a club like no other. People around the world would be looking at that and going, why the hell are Celtic got Santa Claus coming on the, onto the pitch to give Celtic the trophy in the middle of May? The end of, no, it's the middle of May. It's not even so Santa was brought out. He's, he's a cold storage and brought the championship trophy. It was absolutely, the scenes yesterday were brought everything yesterday. It was all about having fun. And that's what we do. And we continue that to next week. It will be a hard game next week. Uh, they did drew 3-3 again yesterday. They got another moral victory. And and, and although uh, with that moral victory, the 3-3 draw, uh, they won a, another uh, second runner-up medal. Uh, but there were some nasty scenes within the stadium yesterday between... Um, the two sets of fans, uh, some nasty scenes, which is something that we'll probably speak about this week because it's the first time in a long time that we've had the best part of um, 20,000 fans face up to each other. And I do predict from them there will be unsavoury scenes. Um, it's, it's happened before and it'll happen again, um, which is sad, and especially since it's the, this is the showpiece. This is the showpiece game of any club uh any league season i mean the scottish cup final is always the, the game that you want to be in and it's the last game of the season it's like the english premier the english fa cup and you know any cup that a club plays for a country plays for it is the biggest game and it's going to be showcased all around the world and i just hope that i mean it'll be safe as houses when you're in the stadium because there's that there's that much place and there's that many you're that far apart from each other really um that there'll be nothing goes on inside the stadium it's outside the stadium next week that there will be concerns and it'll be after the game it's going to be tasty in glasgow next week after the game that was for sure um anyway let's just remember the moment when asked about when he lifted the trophy in 2017 and 2018, Brendan Rogers said, I enjoy that. There's a real beauty about coming back here. When I came here the first time, um, I loved every second of it. I was so fixated on the next thing, about winning the next thing, even on a day like today. So, so I promised myself this time that I'm going to take time and really enjoy the moment. It's a very special moment because it's not, you're not always going to be here. At Celtic, you're not always going to have these moments, and that's why you have to take time. And he told the players that to take it all in. And he then went on to say, he really enjoyed today, knowing that it was going to affect the next thing. He says, What this experience gives you, we have lots of time to prepare for the next one. You know what it means more titles, more trophies, and just do. What Celtic do? Celtic bringing on Santa Claus. Joe Hart, absolutely almost in tears when he seen the tiffle from the Green Brigade coming out when he came onto the pitch in the second half. Joe Hart, you're thinking, oh my God. And then about two minutes later, Joe Hart does what Joe Hart does. <laughs> he does a Joe Hart moment. But. It is the end of the season. That is it. It is done and dusted. We have one more game to think about. The players will have to prepare this week for the game of their lives. The fans will be on DEFCON 5 with excitement for this one because it's the first time that we'll have that mob in a stadium with us to sing their bail on a, a large scale. So on that note... Let's just take time to remember Joe Hart today and uh, the fantastic, absolutely fantastic response that he got from the Celtic fans in the ground yesterday and the fact that he was almost brought to tears in the second half as it started. It's a club like no other. It is absolutely just a beautiful day. And on that note, have a fantastic day, Celtic fans, all around the world.